You only had 130, but I think... The mob debt collector is a rich Hollywood meme. Most mob movies have at least one scene of a collector, and it is often violent and often comical. A splash of dark humor. He wants his money. But do you ever wonder what it is like in real life? The mob reporter here with an actual real-life wiretap recording of a gangster working hard to collect his money. But first, let's think about what we might be expecting. Now, many of us will have a favorite scene of an underworld collector from a mob movie or a TV show. It might be something old school, like in Rocky, when his scrappy backstory involves him being mob muscle, but with a tender heart. We are for the money. The Sopranos television series offers many great scenes of collections, many of them made by Furio, played by Federico Castelluccio. Give me $1,000. 1000 more? Did you ever stop to think what would happen if I had a heart attack? Look at me, Harry. I'm looking at you. I want you to keep looking at me right here. John Travolta in Get Shorty took a subtler, more erudite approach. Mesa's Casino? Well, that's what this is. You're a collector for the <laughs> casino, huh? You come in here in the middle of the night. Uh, I thought you were an actor auditioning, for Christ's sakes. Now, what if the collector was this man, and he was doing it in real life, without Hollywood screenwriters, stuntmen, or a costume department? Meet Constantine Alavisus, known as Big Gus. Big Gus was a mob link trafficker in Toronto one of the biggest movers of ecstasy in Canada. He was a six foot six, 460 pound money-making machine. He was a flesh and muscle mountain. I knew this firsthand from interviewing him. Not all of Big Gus's customers paid him on time, sometimes requiring him to show a little muscle. But mostly he got by with just his mouth and what a mouth he had. When he got up a good head of steam, it was hard for him to breathe. Now have a listen to a message Big Gus had for one unlucky fellow. And to be perfectly clear, this wasn't left for me. 696, I'm sorry I'm not available. It's down at the phone. Please leave a brief message and I will get back to you shortly. Thank you. Give me a phone call, you low life. Okay, give me a mother phone. I swear to God, if I come looking for you for my money, I swear to God, I'll break the whole leg, you piece of Mother, give me a phone call. If you are satisfied with your message, press one. To listen to your message, press two. Thank you. Your message has been sent. Goodbye. So, listening to Big Gus tells us something about the portrayal of mobsters in Hollywood. In real life, it isn't always as cool as Chili Palmer, as funny as Henry Hill or as crazy as Nicky Santoro. But there seems to be an element of reality to many of the screen scenes. It can be tough to get deadbeats to cough up, and sometimes it can be messy for both parties. Or maybe it is a case of life imitating art. Maybe the gangsters like Big Gus learned how to collect his money from watching the movies. Thanks for watching my movie.